It looks like Scrapper. He's one of the Birmingham boys. Can you believe this? The lioness haven't taken any chances and they've run off. It could well be another Inkohuma lioness or who knows, maybe a Styx. There's so much turmoil amongst the lions in this area thanks to the male we've just seen and his four coalition members. But all five of the Birmingham boys have arrived and Taxon, who's another guide nearby, says the lioness are running off to the north. And they started to call when you were with Scott. We heard this gentleman responding just behind us. We've been searching for him ever since. Ah, there's the other one calling. I'm not too sure exactly what is going on, whether that male followed those two females into the drainage line, because he's the male that's calling on the far side is very far away, or getting further away actually. And I'm just wondering if that isn't because he was on his way after the two girls. It's very difficult to tell which direction they've gone in because of course they're all over the place. But earlier we heard all five of them calling together. It's important to remember that these males are still beginners at what they're doing. They aren't well versed in mating, they're still learning the ropes. And we're going to notice some drastic changes in not only their appearance but also their wisdom and experience as they take control of this area. Oh, look here. Look at this. Awesome. Right, big girl. Shame, look at them. They're definitely stressed out. Shame, you can see the indecision in their actions. They're not happy. They've been chased off their kill by the Birmingham boys. And I know that there's been lots of speculation as to what's going to happen. You were wondering if they're going to mate with the Birmingham boys, what's going to happen. At least they didn't kill them, indeed. At least they just chased them off. Isn't he a beautiful big male? Look at this. What an incredible morning we're having. Organized chaos, you could almost say. Basically how it often works with large coalitions is that they will stick together in their initial takeover period, which is now, and then very often they will split up into smaller groups. They won't necessarily always be in the same groups of two and three. They may switch and swap with one another, but it will make more sense for them to split up into two units because five of them will be able to acquire a very large territory and if all five of them are staying together permanently it will mean that there will be parts of their territory that they cannot patrol and maintain to ensure that there are no other intruders trespassing on their land so what we'll probably find is that in the coming months we'll probably see them in groups of two or three for the majority of the time but that's not to say they won't join up when need be if they are forced with competition from other males they will sing out and call one another in for backup and reinforcements or possibly even when they are success making a kill they'll let the other coalition members know and they'll join up to feed together on a large kill like a buffalo these two females popped out of the drainage line and onto the road and shame, they look so stressed out. They look really scared. They're not happy. You can see it in their body language. Very restless. There you go, a bit of contact between them. 
Do you think that it's safe to assume now that the female that they've been mating with is not an Nguruma lioness because she didn't reunite with these two? Oh, look at that.